It's the album that rocked the year in more ways than one. From sales to digital strategy, British singer Adele is taking center stage in the music industry. CCTV's Rochelle Akufo explains. My God, this reminds me. 2015 was a largely uneventful year for music sales. Enter British songstress Adele. Her album 25 strolled in at the end of the year, breaking records for the biggest sales week in US history. Today we're announcing Apple Music, the next chapter in music, and I know you are going to love it. It will change the way that you experience music forever. Despite digital music becoming a game changer for the industry, Adele chose not to stream her full album. It's a strategy that means consumers have to buy the record outright, boosting the number of albums sold. The British singer joins a growing number of artists taking a more prominent role in how their content is accessed. Taylor Swift withheld her album 1989 from Apple Music over its three-month free trial offered to subscribers. Swift objected because it meant writers, producers and musicians wouldn't get paid. Fear of missing out led the tech giant to reverse its policy, saying it would pay royalties. Apple joins other digital music services like Spotify, Pandora and QQ Music to battle it out for exclusive content. Global digital music revenue continues to climb. The IFPI says it neared $7 billion in 2014, and it's on track to overtake market share from physical forms like CDs and vinyl. But not all musicians are eager to go digital. There's certain genres of music that never stopped, you know, putting music out on cassettes. I would say, like, noise artists, metal artists, industrial, they've always just continued with cassettes. But there's been, you know, a throwback to um, cassettes from other genres. You know, people want a, an alternative to digital. You know, digital's easy, but cassettes, you know, bring you back to a day when music was a more tangible object. In an interview with Time magazine, Adele said she doesn't use streaming because it's disposable and she feels music should be an event. It just goes to show that for some musicians and consumers, there's no substitute for holding music in your hands. Rochelle Akufo, CCTV, Washington.